Hey Taurus, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. And here is a, this is a closure reading, okay? This is a closure reading. This is the end of the saga that has been going on with this freaking King of Wands character forever now. This is the end of this saga. Um, I'm holding the camera. I know it's like a bad Blair Witch Project. I apologize. Don't get sick on me, right? Don't get sick. Just close your eyes and listen if the, if the movement is making you nauseous, okay? But I am visiting my mom for a couple days, and um, I just don't have a place to read up there, right? I like to be alone and quiet with my thoughts and my meditation and, and my production of this whole thing. So I'm in my car, and I'm holding the camera, so I apologize. Um, if you're new to this this channel this is not normal okay this is absolutely not normal and come back for the July 1st um, monthlies and you will see a huge difference if you like this video like it if you want to share it by all means please share it and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe you can click the little dingy bell if you want to be notified of what comes up next okay all right, Taurus, this is a general reading for the collective of Taurus. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate with you. If you have, even if you don't have Taurus, right? If this reading resonates with you, it's your reading. It's not about the sign. It's about the resonation. So if it resonates with you, then it's your reading, whether you are Taurus or not. If you're cross-watching for a Taurus and this reading resonates with you, then maybe it's for you, right? All right. Um, this is an R rated channel, just so you know. I probably will swear and I might make some off color jokes as well. So if that offends you, um, you know, <laughs> you know what you can do. Okay. All right. So, Taurus, um, this is not a personal reading. Do not make, you have to promise me, you will not make life altering decisions based on a general tarot card reading, okay? If you'd like a reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. If you are a subscriber to this channel, you can click the link in the box below and get a $50 reading until August 1st. Yes, that's right. This is an announcement. Starting August 1st, all readings on YouTube will be $75 a piece because people from the radio show are coming over to my YouTube channel and they're doing the $50 readings without subscribing. And I don't think they're just, I don't think they're being dicks about it. I think they just don't understand the whole subscribing thing on YouTube and what a big deal it is to a creator for people to subscribe to their channel as far as YouTube is concerned, right? So um, anyway, um, and I'm kind of getting fucked and I just can't let that happen. So what's going to happen is that if you are a client of mine, if you've had one reading or 50 readings, it doesn't matter. If you're a client of mine, between the beginning of time and August 1st, you will be in the VIP club and you will get $50 readings forever and always. Okay, forever and always from the bottom of my heart, $50 readings for my current clients and anybody who comes on board before August 1st. So if you have been thinking about a reading with me or you like my style and you want to be locked into the $50 readings, by all means, schedule an appointment with me before August 1st, okay? All right. That being said, let's get into this Taurus. All right. Now I'm going to do my best with the whole camera. Again, I apologize, okay? It's just got to be what it is. So we open into this reading with death, right? This death card, you are absolutely putting an end to something. It's not a change. It's not a transformation. It's not a transition. It is an ending, a death to finally this King of Wands character that's been plaguing our readings for months and months and months now. You are putting an end to this King of Wands character. When I asked for the bridge between death and the king of wands, just for clarification, to make sure that I was on point, I got these. I got judgment. You have made an absolute, irrevocable, spiritual decision to put an end to your tanglings with, or entanglings with this king of wands character. Who? Who? this king of wands character that's what the judgment is against because either you or this king of wands character has choices and options and cannot commit fully to this relationship this is a burden and a struggle that you are about to cut out of your life 
Is it going to be easy? No, but it's necessary and it has to come to an end for you to have a new beginning and a new journey in your life, Taurus. Now that's why this is a, I'm going to call this a, a, um, a conclusion, a closure. This reading is a closure of this whole thing that's been going on with this King of Wands forever now. Okay, this is a conclusion to everything. So this is not your July monthly reading. This is a closure to the saga that's been happening forever in your readings. And we're going to come back with a July reading that is going to just knock our socks off, right? Because it's going to be about this new beginning and this new journey right here. Okay, <sighs> putting a death to this entanglement with the King of Wands because there is betrayal, deceit, mind games, conflict, and tension, right? The challenge, the challenge, it is a challenge. And also there is competition and there is um, a sense of needing to be guarded, right? In what could have been a good relationship, but there's too much of a challenge. There's too much conflict, betrayal, and deceit, right? And this King of Wands right here, you've made a judgment to kill this King of Wands relationship because somebody had options. Somebody had options. It was a burden and a struggle. You're going to Queen of Swords this shit and cut it right out of your life. Is it an easy thing to do? Hell no. This King of Wands has been around forever. This is not an easy thing to do. But like death, it is a necessary. It is necessary for your personal transformation into the fool. Taking a leap of faith, going out on your own, and creating a brand new beginning and taking a brand new journey in your life, Taurus. This is what July's reading is going to be about. I guarantee it. So, what could have been a good relationship, right? So, we come down here. I so apologize for the whole camera thing. So, we come down here. So Taurus, let me just show you this row. We got the, the High Priestess to the King of Pentacles to Temperance. That's the Two of Swords under there to the Empress, right? So what Taurus does is Taurus has a sit down with Taurus, right? As the King of Pentacles, talking about, talking about power and control and, and abundance in your life. Having a sit down with your High Priestess, whatever that is for you, right? And, and coming to terms with the fact that this bullshit right here, this is not your purpose with temperance in the center of your reading. The center of your reading, temperance. This bullshit is not your purpose. That's what you figured out when you sat down with your subconscious mind, your intuition, and your divine, right? And I'll tell you what, the High Priestess with the King of Pentacles, High Priestess with the Queen of Pentacles, that's a hybrid, right? That's a hybrid High Priestess. But I'm going to give it, I'm going to go ahead and give it to the High Priestess and the King of Pentacles. This is you becoming this Empress right here. This is you becoming, this is the hybrid Empress. This is you becoming the Empress. Temperance in the middle of your reading says, this is not your purpose. This is not your circus. It's not your monkeys. It's not your purpose. And you finally realize that, right? Because you gave it a go. You gave it a good go. You really did. All of your other readings, you were excited for reconciliation and all of that good stuff. You gave it a good go. But it's just not where you're supposed to be. And it's not, it's not, it's not your show right now. Two of Swords comes in and says, uh, self-protective, guarded, um, dealing with repressed emotions 
and cutting some shit out of your life is what this two of swords is about and when you do that you emerge as this empress right here you emerge as yourself as the true taurus she is the culmination of all four queens in the deck she's got her feels in check she's got her mental in check she's got her security in check her wallet right and she has her passion in check she is in total and complete control of herself when I asked for clarification for the two of swords I got the four of swords it's not worth the fight it's not worth the fight the three of swords fuck all of this pain and grief and heartbreak fuck it all done with it I would much rather as a Taurus I would much rather be an independent self-sufficient single person than to deal with one more minute of this bullshit right here this is not my purpose right now not my purpose What's my purpose right now? My purpose right now is this new beginning and this new journey as an independent, self-sufficient, single person. There is so much better waiting for you down the road. So much better. With the Knight of Pentacles, slow, steady, planning for your future there is so much better in your future for you than this high priestess says you know that you know that you know in your gut in your heart of hearts that you must leave this situation because it is not your purpose it's not your purpose and you need to head out queen of swords as you're doing this right as you're doing this you are emerging as the Queen of Swords okay and it's interesting that the Queen of Swords is under the High Priestess right because this is also a Empress combination right the Empress doesn't answer to anybody but the High Priestess right and the High Priestess is the Empress subconscious mind right so anyway, this is a this is a high priestess uh, uh, trio right here, right? So taking on the energy of high priestess empress trio right here, empress trio. So you're taking on the energy of the queen of swords, right? Not taking any bullshit. Had enough. Just just pss, done, right? You're going to stab up some hearts, right? You're going to cut some hearts. You're going to cut it out. There's going to be some bleeding. There's going to be some pain. There's going to be some lamenting. But you are, are, you are, are done with it. This is not your purpose. Is there despair? Is there disappointment? Hell yeah, there is. This King of Wands has been in your, in your readings over and over and over and over and over again. Of course there's some despair and some disappointment. But you're walking away, Taurus. You are walking away. You are emerging as the Queen of Pentacles yourself. Not only the Queen of Pentacles, but the Ten of Cups, right? Now that this conflict is out of your life, you are ready to take a new beginning and a new journey. You are ready to transition out of this, right? You are ready to become the Empress. And there you are. The Queen of Pentacles, right? If we do the Queen of Pentacles plus the Queen of Swords, we have half of an Empress, right? <laughs> Throw the King of Pentacles in there, you know, mix it up a little bit. But yeah, you're emerging as the Queen of Pentacles completely and totally in control of your shit. And there is harmony, happiness, values alignments in your life and in your relationships because you no longer have this going on right you no longer have this going on you no longer have this going on right here what is that it's been holding on for a long long time but man you're gonna cut it out you're gonna cut it out and let the cards fall where they may fuck it the pain of grief and heartbreak 
is the cost that you will pay to have this new beginning and this new journey with the Fool card. To emerge as this Empress right here. Right? That is the cost. The heartbreak, the sorrow, and the pain of a failed attempt at something that could have been an excellent relationship. Is it your fault? Is it their fault? Who knows? I don't know. Only you know that. But nevertheless, nevertheless, you have so much better to look forward to in your future. And that is what the July reading is going to be about. I can feel it. I can tell already. That's why I had to do this. So we can all have some closure. Those, those Tauruses that I'm connecting with, right? So we can all have some closure. And get the hell away from this. Get away from that King of Wands. Close it out and start a new journey and a new beginning in your life. Kill it, Taurus. Kill it. Right on. I cannot wait to do your next reading. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. We're going to let this energy clear out for just a little bit, and I'm going to come back. I tell you the truth, it probably won't be to the 2nd or 3rd of July, honestly, because I want this to clear out, because I can feel something amazing coming, and I want all of this bullshit to clear out, so I'm going to give you all some time. Um, if you need a personal reading about this particular situation in your life or any situation in your life, all of my contact information is below. So there you go, Taurus, and I will see you in about a week or so. All right. Namaste, my friends.